picture of the bilge right there, folks. And uh, in the old days, they had that hand-laid hole with that big uh, fiberglass cloth there. There's your flange here. There we go. And there's another picture of the of the the bilge here. And those are some inspection plates I put on there years ago to make sure that the bulkheads had uh, no water in them. There we go. That paint on there, it was Z-Spar Mono Epoxy. See some checking in there, but this stuff is like, uh, like epoxy. Really tough stuff. Can't buy it anymore. Had good old-fashioned lead in it. There we go. There's also an inspection plate up in the front of the the uh, floor. Up in front of the boat here. I can't really see in there. Yeah, there's your throttle, of course. The old good stuff they used to use in the old days all the time. You gotta pull out the knob and put it in neutral. And This is the original steering wheel, folks. Okay. This steering wheel, the center of this wheel went into the original steering wheel. For some reason it fit in this, this new wheel. But that's the, uh, that just, that's a real wood steering wheel. This is, if you want to get the, the, the hub broke loose in the original one. But it could be fixed, but you can see it's, uh, has some sort of metal flake in it. Not a clear, clear plastic there. And then the, uh, but the hub is broken loose right there. I guess I could be epoxy back in there. But there we go. Another view of the engine. The engine, uh, used to have a F10C, you know, Champion spark plug, and more recently they've on to, uh, extended tips. Like in, uh, a lot of other marine use. So you're using an RNF11YC, which is the same heat range, just an extended tip on it. And it, at idle, these things always run kind of rich. If you had one, you know. So anyway, that's the last, last view of the engine. There we go, folks. Also, when we first bought this boat, there was no carpet in it. It had the, uh, the same material that's in the, uh, in the pockets. That's the original material still. That's some sort of, it's just like a, some sort of plasticky, uh, you know, like a wallpaperish type thing, but kind of a more of a marine use type. But there we go. But the floor said that there was no carpet in those days, at least in this boat here. See, there's a picture of the hull. You wonder what the condition of the hull is. You can see the spot I polished right there. It's got the, uh, and you can see the, on the left, it hasn't been polished there. Right there. Where the orange, the shadow of the orange is in the, in the polished area. On the other side of the, the ring there is where it's not been polished, so. The whole thing could be polished out real good. There we go. You can see it better there. Another overview of the boat. That's the uh, tub I used to run the thing right there. There you go. And there's the deck light again. One more picture of the bow light here. And I polished the, uh, the left side, but I haven't polished the right side. So it's got some scales, some scum on there. You can see the difference in the... So everything could be cleaned up a lot if it's going to be your primary uh, vessel here. There's the original rope that came with it in 71. Let me get another shot of the, the horn. There you go, on brass there too. Okay, this is it, off to work. There we go. Yeah, see ya. Yeah, this is, this is the original Arena Craft, uh, let's see, what logo? You know, kind of like a coat of arms. 
Yeah, Dan Arena and Don Arena were the founders. That's where uh, Bob Chapel that had this boat before went and purchased it up in Richmond, California. Forgot to shoot this before, but there we go. Pretty cool, huh? There we go. Arena Craft. There we go. One more shot. This is a different shot of a... Uh, there we go. Better, better view here. This is the keel. And uh, this is worn a little bit from being rolled on these rollers here. But as far as being pulled up on the beach, the thing was always anchored off. There we go. I forgot to shoot that with the trailer yesterday. Another shot there, but that's when it pulls up on the original. On the first roller, it's but this was, I redid the keel from the original guy back in the, uh, you know, probably 15, 18 years ago. And this is one, another one of the step plates, and this is uh, the molding that's around the, uh, between the deck and the uh, hull there. It's got a few cracks in it, but it's the original stuff from uh, 1961. There's one of the chrome on brass, you know, side vents there. There we go. There we go. One one more thing I forgot to talk about. Let's see, this has a a mechanical oil pressure gauge. There we go. The line was made up by Napa years ago. And uh, connected of course right to the gauge. Instead of having a electronic mounted in the same place. And this is the overhead oiler here, folks. The yeah, little lines come up. Got 292, 312s, had trouble oiling in the upper end, the rocker arms and such, so this is, uh, goes back to a T, and it goes back into a, uh, take up the uh, vibration, you know, right there, the dampener right there, lines in a curl, and then it goes over to the other side there, so it gets more oil than it could ever need up in the, uh, upper end. There's a Mallory distributor there, single point distributor. There we go. Yeah, we made up these lines and also had made the hardened studs that are uh, screwed into the block to hold the rocker arms in place there. There we go. That's been on there since 1977 I think. There we go. There's a manifold bar. There's a fuel pump. Yeah, I showed that yesterday. Rebuilt by Iggy Machine in Santa Fe Springs there. So there we go. There's the overhead over there again right there. Here we go. Here's a shot of the uh, 256 cubic inch block. I she used the same 312 heads which are on the current engine. So it went from 256 up to 292. And it's still... Uh, it was all usable at the time, so it's with a little machine work, it's usable too. There's a oil pump mount right there, that's where it mounts. Oil filter mount. That's just an automotive oil pan stuck over there to kind of protect stuff. And there's a, a two barrel uh, you know, carburetor intake manifold, but which would have to be re plumbed if ever wanted to put a downdraft carburetor on there instead of the, the side draft. So there we go. There we go. These are some of the extra parts for the uh, engine. A brand new fuel pump. Never been on there. There we go. And a coil. Extra coil. There we go. Those are oil seals for the uh, wheel bearings there. There's uh, extra bearings there. Those are the carburetor kits. There we go. There's the accelerator pump. That should be replaced right now. There we go. There's a box of uh, additional uh, parts there. Other carb kit there. Float bowl gaskets. 
Another float bowl gasket. There's an old uh, accelerator pump diaphragm there. Well, numerous parts, you know, jets, metering rods, other odds and ends in there. There we go. There we go. I've got rocker arms, push rods, uh, other additional odds and ends I've got to go through them. So, hey, anyway, that gives you an idea right there. Also, have a. This is an extra strut bearing. There we go. It goes, you know, the shaft goes through there. It goes in the strut below the below the keel. I've had an extra one for years, so there we go. One more odds and ends. And there we go. There's a miscellaneous parts box there, which has got rocker arms, right push rods, rocker shafts, another overhead oiler kit in there, fuel pump. Uh, let's see, an inline filter replacement element there, a few extra uh, spark plug wires. Shaft log hoses, uh, different water hoses. Also, the hoses on the uh, outlets on the rear of the boat for the exhaust water were replaced probably 10 years ago, so they're not uh, from 1961. So, anyway, that's it. That's it. I'll talk to you later. There you go. There's one more shot of the boat here. Now I've got to go to work. There we go. There we go. Here's here's a view of the seats. There's the back seat there, top, and the bench seat there. I already shot a brief picture of them, but that's a full picture. There we go. The upholstery's still in good shape. It just kind of it's checked and got a few little. There we go. Little patches in it there. That was done many years ago, probably 30 years ago that was done. There we go. And here's a full view of the uh, front seat. And there's some cracking in the upholstery right there. Next to the driver, gets the most use there. Got the uh, 